here's another custom map, but it's uh, actually replacing a current map. So we're going to go over to um, four circles. Let me just get Pat. Four circles, hard chimps. But the problem, it's not actually four circles. If you see here, uh, the entrance and the exit is a corner track. Also known as, uh, yes, Slons, if you're, if you're into those memes. But personally, I call it the OG corner track, because that's what I've been calling it for years. Big thanks to Timothy for making this mod. I don't mind it too much that you, uh, there's no art for it. As long as the gameplay is there, you see, the placeable land, it works exactly as, as I would like it. So let me just see if a attack shooter can be round 6. A 101. Nice, beats greens. Is there water in the bottom right? Uh, we can try that. If I can save up 350 again. Uh, or I die. That too. Let me just see. Yeah, it's all land, I think. Wait. No, no, no. There is water. No, I believe it does match the semicircle. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the exact same as the four circles map. Where the water is. So, technically, you could use it. Not that you really want to. Uh, let's try again, though. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. If you press restart, the placeable area resets. So, you see here? I can place it on track, which I don't want, so I gotta go home. I gotta go back like this for it to work properly. So let me just see again. Yeah, you can't place it here, but I still believe you can place it on the normal water. Gotcha. So yeah, this looking like tack zone. Pat is probably the play here. Perma spike because of the, sh the length of the map. Um, not sure what else. Concoction. Okay, I think it's back to be time. Right here. I wonder if Pat will be able to buff the tech shooter or the Spectre. Let me just see. Oh, nice, it does. That's awesome. I love me a stronger Spectre. So yeah, you can already tell what I'm what I'm going for. I'm not sure what order I want to get them in, though. I believe Tax Zone would be first, though. All right, got to use Pat for these rounds because Spectre resets and the round comes in quick. Spack is pretty bad on this map because it's so short, but don't worry. That's why you need the long life. This map being easy makes it harder because Pat levels... Oh yeah, that's true. Pat does level slower on easy maps. Personally, this would be classified probably expert if this was ever in the game. So we're actually losing out on a lot of XP from Pat. Like, does Pat even get level 20 if I don't upgrade him? I don't think so. Alright, almost to that up buff. Just need to be... A few leads here. Got it. Should use Pat. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, now, round 33. I'm gonna go for a... Smart Spikes. That thing rapidly shoots out spikes uh, at the start of the round. So I think it'll be able to solo 33. Because right now, it's either I go for a 300 sub, which I don't want to because it'll probably miss a lot. Or I go for, like, a Camel Village, which you can't afford. It's like... Too much money. So I guess I'll just go for the early uh, long life spikes or something. 33, yep, you see that? Just pumping up those spikes. Rainbows, I'll use Pat. Okay, might have been a little early because I need it for next round. Camo greens. Although I hope Overdrive will get all the pinks so that we don't have to worry about dying to that. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay. Now for round 37, I will definitely need a stronger spike pile. Long life spikes. Thank you very much. I guess I'll out buff the factory too, right? No, no. Let me go for a P a P uh, P training. I want to get my overdrive as strong as it possibly can. I will afford a jungle jumps by by forty, although probably not P training, right? Money looks a little bit short, but if I can get it, that'd be really nice. Nope. Okay. Pat early. And didn't even need the spike pile. Overdrive is just that good with Pat. What else should I buy before I go for Tax Zone? There's no way this saves up 25-9, right? I guess I'll go for one of these first. 4 zero, zero. Uh, I definitely need something else though, right? I mean, I guess more primary towers would be nice. Another Overdrive? Technically, I could do that. Which wouldn't be terrible. I do wonder if this can solo. 
Maybe I'm underestimating the power of Alk Overdrive Pat. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a black border. I'm not trying to black border here, although it'd be nice. A Slons corner map black border. Yeah, screw it. I think we can... I, I think we can do it, maybe. Like, look at these ceramics. They're not getting anywhere at all. Moab, not even close. If you don't buy anything, it'll be like late 50s. There is a grouped 55 though, yeah. I'll make sure to use Pat for the last wave. Because I don't know what's going to overwhelm me. I do have a good chunk of spikes back here. But can probably only hit like a couple hundred. Yeah, it's really just 55. The clumped rounds. Watch here. Easy. This is wave 2. Easy. Okay, maybe it's easier than I thought. Wave 3. Easy. Wait, do I even have to use the ability? Damn, Overdrive, you good. Yeah, I didn't have to. I just used it because panic, but not needed. So the answer was nothing. The correct answer was don't go for anything at all. Uh, Taxon should be... Uh, yep, yeah, got it. Okay, sweet. Now I'm pretty sure we just go straight for uh, um, Perma Spike. So let's do that. Super Brittle is also a really good option, although... Uh, yeah, putting it here would be pretty cool. Because then it gets ranged later with Ice Shards, with the Brittlements. It'll basically cover the entire map. So I do like the sound of that. Perma Spike and then Brittle. Three pretty cheap tier fives that synergize pretty pretty well together. But yeah, let me just go for this first. Alt Buff. Deadly Spike. Should afford 32-4. In no time. So even though this map I would consider expert if NK, you know, put it in the game. It's actually probably going to be one of the easier expert maps. What makes the expert maps hard is the amount of entrances and exits. Most of the time. Like, you know, Tar Pits. Malontonium Lab. Those maps are just nutty. So what this is showing right now is that you literally just need one curve. One bend on a map. To make it easily beatable. At least so far. But yeah, if this map was like... Oh wait, oh my bad. I was fast forwarding. Didn't mean to do that. How much money did I have when I died? Because I swear I was close. Maybe if I don't buy Alpha, if I, I buy Perma Spike and then I can... I'll be better for 78. I'm going to make sure to use the ability. And we should beat 78 here. And then afford Perma Spike. Wait for it. Timing, now. Right? Okay, good, good, good. Man, even with Pat ability, it's still kind of scary. But we got this guy. We got this guy now. And I think we're on our way. Let me just app buff it. And yeah. Super Brittle should be next. Should I get any stalling at all? Before uh, going for a Super Brittle? Like maybe a Mamoab at the front of the map? Although I don't know how well that would work. Because yeah, the tank zone will still damage it. Granted, it'll all damage it slower, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. I mean, the good news is that nothing is in my spike pile right now, so it's pretty much maxed. Even with me not getting any other defense since round 57. Still no ability. I'm not going to use it unless it's a ZMG. Because, yeah, the stronger the balloon, the less time we have to kill it. See here? Let me just wait. Um, How about now? Pat's level, not 14, but close. Money's almost there for Brittle, just gotta hold out a little bit more. Alright, sweet. Pat is level 14 for 87, which means when I use the ability, Tax Zone will just shred the ZMGs. Alright, so should we commit to Brittle? I think so. I think it's time. Right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2. Beautiful. I'm gonna go for a Francis Throwing, just so it hopefully lands on the Tack more. And what do we go for now? We got we got the trilogy. We got the trusty trio of Brittle, Tack Zone, and Perma Spike. Concoction? Oh yeah, concoction. Um for the Perma Spike. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna put it as far away from the track while still being under range of the village. Reason being, maybe I want a better tower closer. I guess support would be nice too, like um more press. More clue. Even though the map is so damn short, but I mean, it still it still makes a difference. Not even under village. Oh wait, what? Oh, I thought it was under village earlier. Oh well. I'll get 
this. It's still not in range. Okay. Uh, ignore it then. Oh, I was probably looking at the Alk buff icon, not the village icon, when dropping the Alchemist. Oops. Now that is uh, a tiny brain move. There's the Morp Glue. Uh, a 0-1-3 is probably good enough for now. No, no, you know what, Splatter? Like, the map is so short that all the balloons are going to be clumped anyways. So why not get more Pierce? Am I scared about the bat at all? Like, do I need a first strike or anything? I feel like I don't. I might just get a more press though. Let me just see. This water is really in the way, isn't it? I'll use pad ability. Let's watch that destruction unfold. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get one of these. 024. How's my purpose spike? Only 10k pops, yeah. Very little action seen. What now? We got, we still got like 20, 30k to spend for the rest of the game. Maybe I don't even need to spend it. Because the way it's looking right now, I don't have to. There's really no way. There's really nothing that can stop us. Spy pile's still pretty much all the way full. Get a spike storm? You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Because I don't believe the spikes, like, the amount of spikes that throw out is static. So even though the, the map is short, it doesn't mean it's not going to throw out a lot of spikes. They just spread out over the course of the track. So I mean, yeah, if I want every spike to be useful, then this could work. I will make sure to use the ability and spike storm for 98. I should probably put it under pat too. Like the spike storm, but whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I think we still got this. So let's wait, pat now. Watch spike storm. Uh, I don't think it did very much, frankly. Perma spike, we are counting on you. I can barely see the spike pile, but I'm pretty sure it's uh nice and healthy. Let's get another. We have money, why not? Extra safe. White hot. Yep, here's 99. Uh I'm not gonna use anything, right? This guy can already hit DT, so it doesn't really matter. Even if it does hit the spike pile, it's gonna instantly die. Easy. Alright. Bad time. Here we go. Spike storm. <laughs> that was fast. And that's that's it. Easy. This is an extra map? I don't know about that. That was pretty easy. Frankly, I wish there was an extreme, extreme like category in BT6. Because there is a difference between salons slash corner map versus like quad or bloody puddles. This would not be the hardest map in the game if it did exist. But I would love for it to exist because it's a quarter track. It's just a nice meme all around. Check damage. 1.6 million tax zone. Pretty much doing all the work. And now we're dead. Ah, 102. Not bad. Although I wasn't really trying. But GG.